Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial video and today we're going to see another problem where we have to take two strings from the user as input and then we have to mix that is add the two string but here's a condition we have to add the both string with alternative characters from each string also if there are any characters left we have to append it at the end of the result string that is if we see the examples we'll understand let's say here is a numbers a b c d e n d f g h okay and there is also i j k l so there are two strings we have taken and we have to add this two string and the result will be a then second string i then again first string b second string j first string c second string k first string d second string l and then rest of the characters that could be from uh, string 1 or string 2 that will be append at the end of the string so this might sound a little confusing so let me just write the code for you guys and then i'll describe how to do it okay my code is complete so let me just run it okay you can see that the my a comes first then i then b then j then c then k then d then l after that the rest of the characters have come so my code is perfect and correct so let's just describe what happened here first of all i have taken two variables that is s1 s2 and this two variable take two string as input after that i have taken a variable i equal to zero j equal to zero and uh, um equal to an empty string after that i have given a while condition while loop condition here while i less than length of s1 or j less than length of s2 that is i am taking the length of s1 and length of s2 then i have given an if condition that is if i less than length of s1 sum equal to sum plus s1 i that is i am that is i am taking the value of s1 the first value of s1 and i am appending it in the sum variable after that i am increasing the value of i in the second if condition i have written the same condition j less than s2 length of s2 sum equal to sum plus s2j and i'm increasing the j value so what happened here is in this case the sum becomes a and here this the sum becomes a i again here when the loop again runs we already got some ai we already have got some ai after that here the next value b will come again in the case of j here we have already the sum is ai b the next value will come j in this way when the j value will run out then the rest of the values will just append like as usual in the end so hope you guys understand the program this is a little complex but i hope you understand it properly if you like the video do subscribe and like and share thanks for watching see you in the next video